Hello guys, this is Becca, and I'm here to do a page in my Bible journal, uh, and share it with you. I just, I love my Bible. I think it's just awesome. And I don't remember if I showed you this completed page. I may have. I can't remember. I know I showed it to you when it wasn't complete, but I don't know if I showed it to you when it was finished. So, I am going to be working here today, and I already have the passage highlighted, which is what I've been doing, but I think I've been doing them off camera. I don't remember if I've um, highlighted them on camera. I did that first page there. Then I did that. It needs to come up where I can see it. <laughs> and I did that one. Now this is the one we're working on today. I'm going to use gel pens. Um, and if you would notice, I have the rainbow here. Why do I have the rainbow here? Because our passage today is Genesis 9, 16. The bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all the flesh, that is upon the earth, Genesis 9, 16. But I'm going to read a little bit more with you. I hope I can stay in line. Such little places to color, and I, my glasses is messed up, and I'm old. <laughs> Which means I'm not real too steady. So, I'm going to start reading the, the verses, starting with um, Genesis 9, starting with verse 11, and it says, And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there be any more neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. Now, God didn't say that portions of the earth wouldn't, would never flood. You know, we have flooding in different areas sometimes. But he's talking about the type of flood that destroys all mankind and all creatures and every, throughout the whole earth. He said he would not do that again. Okay. Verse 12 is, And God said, This is the token of the covenant, which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. So, he's fixing to tell them what the covenant is. The token of the covenant, the sign, the thing they can look at and say, that's God's promise that he would never destroy the whole entire earth at one time again. Okay, um, that was 12, 13 says, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. So, God made the rainbow. He set it in the cloud. Set, like S-E-T, set it in the cloud. And I forgot to do cloud. Let me do that. Ooh, did y'all hear that? I don't know what that is. It's not supposed to rain. So God set the rainbow 
The reason it's called a rainbow is because it happened after the flood, after the rain. And we see a rainbow in the clouds, in the sky, after a rain. Or when the cloud and the, the light, you know, the clouds and all, the sun and all gets in the right position to make a bow in the, in the uh, sky. So, let me get my orange here. All right. 14, and it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. Now, like I said, the cloud and, and all that has to be, the clouds with the sun has to be just right before the bow can be seen from our eyes down here. But God sets the bow in the cloud for a token of his covenant to man and earth. Um, 15, and I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. So see, he promised, and he has kept his promise, he promised that he would no longer, uh, not again, I don't think I should have done that. I'm just going to block it. Because I won't be able to see the words. Um, that That's a token to us that he will never destroy all of mankind again. 16, which is the verse here. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. So I want it, I, you know, I want to say that the rainbow is a token from God is a, is a token of the covenant that God made between himself and every living creature on the earth that he wouldn't destroy all flesh again at one time. You know, we all have a time we have to die. You know, there's a time for every season. And, um, you know, certain areas may have floods, but if you take caution, you won't die in that flood. You know, if you, he's not necessarily destroying, I mean, he isn't destroying the whole earth whenever a flood comes to an area. So the rainbow is God's token. It doesn't represent anything else. You know, people may take it and use it for the wrong, wrong thing. And it's sad that the rainbow has been taken and used for something so, so evil. Number 17, and God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. So, we're going to go ahead and finish up here. And these two colors are supposed to be different colors. One was supposed to be a light blue, one more of an indigo color. And it, you might be able to see it on camera better, I don't know. 
but I'm kind of looking from the side while I'm coloring. Yeah, I can see a difference in them. Now, just doing that first letter, I couldn't see the difference. Oh, I got out of line bad right there, guys. Okay. All right. Now, one last color as far as on the if it's going to write. There we go. I just didn't have it have it positioned good enough. This pen feels loose inside there. It was loose. Now I didn't pull the pink out. And I keep forgetting to do the rainbow up there. But I'm going to pull the pink out to color the butterfly. I'm sorry I haven't, uh, that it's been a while since I've come on to do the Bible journal. But, um, uh, I've been real dizzy since last Thursday. And, um, I think I did a short video, one of the shorts. Friday, but that's, I think that's the last video I've done until today. But I think I figured out what it was. My, um, okay, red, orange, yellow, green. Now this is, doesn't have enough places for the whole entire colors of the rainbow, but you know what? I may add them anyway. I may add them anyway. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, And it ain't much of a bow now. And violet. I'm going to have to make it more of a bow. I don't think I did that too well. Anyway, y'all know what I'm trying to do. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> just not good at it. Okay, let me get the pink one out. To do the butterfly. There is our passage of scriptures for today, and I did the coloring. Let me grab my pen. I want to put the, the date. Today's what? What's today's date? 23rd? Am I right? Yeah. My glasses and my eyes, I'm not good at seeing. Nine... 23 I got to go see what she's barking at all right guys I hope you enjoyed watching uh, me color the the page for let me just peek and see if somebody's out here I don't see a soul somebody may be walking on the road that I can't see but I hope you enjoyed seeing me color uh, in my Bible journal and I hope you enjoyed the passage of scriptures that we had for today. 
All right, I'm going to let you go. Hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will talk with you later. Let me hold it up. Okay, there we go. I will talk with you all later. Bye.